All right, so here's the front clip removed off the 49. A couple things to say. Uh, I took out the radiator support that went from here to here. If I could do it again, I wouldn't do that and just leave it on and then I'd unbolt it from the frame down there. Uh, I'd show that to you here in a, somewhere later, but basically to detach the front clip, you have this bolt here, this bolt here, and then there are three, don't know if you can see them, one, two, three. And those are the ones you get from the inside of the car. Likewise, over here, one, two, three. Had a couple broken, so is what it is. But uh, basically, yeah. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then here's the tricky one. On the outside, beneath the chrome, you'll have one that attaches right here on both sides so down here too and other than that I just did this one this one that one that one and the ones on the back this was all on the frame so here I'm just Clipping these old wires with these little wire cutters. Uh, normally, I think you'd have to take off each of these nuts and you know label each wire individually when you take them off. But because they are already corroded uh, and everything else, I'm just gonna cut them. I will need a new wire harness eventually, so no harm, no foul. Uh, I need better pliers for certain, but. What I had. Broke on the other side too. I have to get new ones or weld new one on there or something. That's those two. Next. I thought I had to take like this inner fender ones across here right there. But I don't think I need to. I'm going to remove those big ones down there. Go from there. Alright, so I loosened up. Let's see. Show you real quick. The bolts on the inside I was talking about earlier. Uh, one, two, and three. Somewhere down there, three. Same on the other side. Uh, and I went just looking at this, wondering why it wasn't coming off right here. And I looked down here, and there's another, uh, well, it, what's left of a nut there. So I'll probably have to melt that one off too, or get a, I got some Mambo uh, bolt cutters that I could try and use. So, uh, assuming the chrome's off this side, so assuming I take chrome off of this side, which I'm not really sure how, so that means I gotta figure out how to pop this chrome off here. And uh, tell you what, if it's a fastener, it'll come off of this chrome bar here. Yep, and if it's not a fastener, it won't come off, and I'll find another way. Oh, so rusty. Uh, let's see. Can't really see anything in there as far as what's holding her on. I uh, can't really pry it too much. So I definitely bent it, but it's already bent. So, mix that idea and we'll look underneath. Dang it. Alright, well, 
figure once I get this off and that last nut on both sides, I should be able to get this front clip off. So, honest, right here, I can move it pretty good. So, hoping that's that, and then I'll be able to get to the front of the frame real easy, fix some uh, bad cancer on the frame. There isn't too much, but also be able to get the engine in and out a lot easier, especially working on it, as well as working on uh, steering and front end stuff like that. So, that's where I'm headed on the basket case. And, uh, yeah. So, I took off this one here. Uh, this down here. If you can see that, yeah, this guy down there. Same. On the other side. Like this one. This guy. Down here. And the inside.